Right, okay, so welcome to the build. Uh, this week's slightly different because I'm not in the shed this week. I'm uh, playing around with a big cat. So playing around with some designs for a possible Springer front end uh, solution to the Honda Rebel. Now, Springer front ends, I think they look absolutely fantastic on bobbers, uh, bobbers, choppers, and what have you. Um, it's a really good looking design. Whether they ride, <laughs> are they any good for riding, I don't know. So it's yet to be seen. Um, but I've often thought I'd like to put a Springer on the, on the Rebel anyway. So before I wanted, well, before I could go anywhere with that, I wanted to see whether it was actually a viable solution. So whether I could actually put it onto the Honda itself. Um, there are plenty of Springers that you can purchase online. Um, I've not looked directly for Springers for the Honda, but what I have seen is that they are quite expensive, and I'm not willing to fork out that much money on a Springer. Plus, I'd like to think I'd be able to make it at home as well. Uh, or have a have a go at it at least. Now, um, so the reason for the CAD is just gives me an idea as to what I'm able to do with the bike itself. So whether I'll be able to kind of mock this up with basic tools, is it going to be feasible or not? Um, is it actually going to work on the bike? Is it going to fit in with everything? So just give me a, an idea whether this can yeah be a solution or not. So I'm not going to go into massive detail with the drawings or the models or what have you. They're just going to be quite basic. Um, now, just to basic, just give me an idea of how everything fits together. Obviously, I will just include all the dimensions, make sure everything's kind of fit for purpose and what have you. Um, but yeah, the models ain't going to be that detailed. So let's have a crack at this. Right, okay, so first things first, what I need to do is set my origin point within CAD. So I'm going to use my first model as the origin point. So that's going to be the upper triple tree. So what you can see there is an image I've taken of the upper triple tree on the Honda Rebel. And I've also put a set square in there as well, just to give me an idea of dimensions. So I can set that within CAD as well. And then all the uh, models that I put into CAD later on, they'll be set to the correct dimensions too. Obviously I will go through and check that as well. So I've got my image in, what I'm gonna do now is just rough out the start of the shape and then just add additional features. So for this design, I would like to keep, or I want to keep at least the upper and lower triple trees. It just makes it slightly more, how can we say it? slightly easier to come up with a solution uh, where I'm not going to have to get involved with um, yeah, tooling and, and shapes to cut out. Um, yeah, the, the equipment's already there so I can still keep it. So what I'm going to do is just keep the, the upper and lower triple trees and then add upon that. Okay, so for the down tubes, I've basically modeled them on uh, ready available stock that can be purchased online or from local metal merchants. So the outer diameter is, I think it's around 33 millimeters, and then the tube wall thickness is five millimeters. Right, okay, so I'm pretty happy with what I've got there regarding the fixed fork setup. So what I need to do now is move on to the active fork, so the fork that's actually going to be moving up and down. So I'll start off with the, I'm going to call it the mid plate because I don't know what else to call it. So start off with the mid plate and then move on from there on to the actual dampening springs. Now for the springs, I just basically got some dimensions offline, so from replacement springs for uh, spring front ends. So I just basically took those dimensions, put them into CAD, and it kind of models up the springs for you. Now, that is just kind of a placeholder. Um, they look all right. All right. Um, I could choose to have some custom ones made up, but for the time being, they'll, they'll do. So it just gives me an idea as to what it's gonna look like.
Right, okay, so the fork ends, I modelled up the fixed fork first. So I did that separately from the model, and then I basically aligned that to the end of the fixed fork. Once that was done, I could then basically use the faces or the planes or what have you to basically use that as a reference to creating the active fork end. Uh, also set the angle for how the rockers are going to basically attach to the fork ends. Last thing to model up is the rockers. Now the rockers are going to need to be able to pivot. So as the active fork moves up and down, the rockers are going to basically pivot around the fixings on the fork ends. So they will need some sort of bearing or a brass uh, insert with them as per usual. The actual rockers themselves, I'm um, not too sure on the design yet. Um, it is a kind of, I can say, a generic look. Um, I could kind of tailor it towards something else, but yeah, at the time being, I, I just didn't have anything to, to mind. So they're just a bit of a generic look at the minute. Okay, so I've just chucked the model into render now just to give a better look of how it's turned out. I've also chucked in a couple more components as well. So uh, number one, front wheel, I've modelled that up previously. So I uh, chucked it in there just to give it a bit of perspective. And then as well as that, you've got the McMaster catalogue within Fusion 360 itself. So you can pick all sorts of fixings and yeah, all bits and bobs, nuts, fasteners, washers, what have you. Um, so you can pick off 3D um, files and then just import it into your session. So all I've done there is just basically taking some uh, dome nuts and then just added them to the top of the springs just to finish everything off. So all in all, it looks like a pretty good solution for the Honda Rebel. Uh, whether I could carry this out or not, I'm not too sure yet. Um, I'm pretty happy with the design. There's some features within it I need to kind of play around with. For a bit but for the time being yeah I'm pretty happy with that pretty good